Niger's new leadership has accused France of violating the West African country's airspace and conducting an attack on local military forces. Now, it issued a statement that the incident enabled, quote, terrorist prisoners to escape from a detention facility. These are extremely serious events underway in Niger as a result of the behavior of the French forces on our territory and their accomplices. On the 9th of August 2023, at around 6.30 a.m., the Nigerian National Guard position at Boko Boko, 30 kilometers from the Samira Gold Mining site, came under attack. The number of casualties has not yet been established. However, as a reminder, through direct communication with Western partners, the behavior of the French forces was criticized for having unilaterally released captured terrorist prisoners. They had been grouped together in a valley in the village of Fetili, 28 kilometers northwest of Yatakala where a planning meeting had been held with the aim of attacking military positions in the three border area. The French army tried to freeze our allies in the Liptaku Gurma in the Ifa region. Then they, uh, they had violated the ES first. We all knew or had this information through the social media. Now we are trying to have the information from the official but they are all focused today on the arrival of the new prime minister. We had them uh, lately on through the telephone, through the... Niger was hit with a barrage of sanctions. The restrictions were imposed by France and other Western powers. And now, neighboring country Nigeria as well which heads a regional group of nations. The measures target Niger's new military leadership and other entities believed to be connected with them. Well, while the world's leading sanctioner, the U.S., is also among those making life harder for people in Niger, Washington severed all its financial help to the country. On Monday, Deputy Secretary of State Victoria Nuland made a beeline to the West African nation and held what she described as difficult talks. While Nigeria's presidential office is still suggesting a diplomatic way out, despite the wave of punishments coming from Abuja. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in his capacity as the chairman of ECOWAS, has been unequivocal in his position that diplomacy is the best way forward. He, along with his colleagues in the, in the bloc, uh, would prefer a resolution that was obtained through diplomatic means, through peaceful means, uh, rather than any other. President Bola Tinubu, who is also the Air Corps um, chair, has come under a lot of backlash, you know, from Nigerians and then from other Africans um, uh, around the continent on the position of Air Corps, you know, uh, on this school. Some saying that, uh, you know, Air Corps is taking a really firm stance, you know, for the first time uh, in, in three years since we've been seeing, uh, you know, some a, a, a kind of military uprising in the West African region. We've seen this, this school in Niger makes it the seventh, you know, uh, coup d'etat to, to happen in the region. And in other instances, ECOWAS, um, you know, uh, did not deploy uh, military forces, you know. So uh, some people are saying that uh, uh, the, the position of ECOWAS, you know, taking a really firm stance on this um, coup that has occurred in Niger is um, not supported by by a majority of Africans. In fact, Nigerians are worried, you know, that if indeed ECOWAS proceeds with a military intervention, that could, you know, have a lot of serious...